Welcome back. We continue right here on Pittsburgh CW. It's the Allegheny Health Network Network Sports Call. Board of Board of Hotline. Bob Pompiani and Paul Zeiss with you. Uh, and not only did I violate something by taking a peanut or two, Paul Zeiss has had some commercial chips. So that's what we do in between commercials, and this is not a good thing, Paul. Just so you know, no. it may come up in about 10 minutes from now, and you'll be all of a sudden choking on your chip. That's all right. I'll be okay. I'm making, <laughs> we're making rookie mistakes here tonight, but we're hungry. What can we tell you? Mary Kay in Munhall is first tonight. What's up, Mary Kay? How you doing? Oh, fine. How you doing, Bob? We're good, thanks. And hi, Paul. Hello. Uh, I, my comment is, I'm, you know what? I won't give up on the Pirates. I've been no. a fan for many, many years. If you're a fan, years. you shouldn't. They're, they're four no, and a half, I, could be three and a half out after tonight. Who I knows? know. I refuse to. But the only question that I do have for you guys is, because McCutcheon has really come around so much, do you feel that they might hang on to him? I would hope so, you know, especially if the price is right in terms of term. Thank you, Mary Kay, for the call. You know, I, I'm not advocating six, seven, eight years, and maybe somebody out there will do that, Paul, because he could get one of those. A lot of guys we saw yeah. in the early 20s get those kinds of deals, but they turn into Cabrera, they turn into Pujols, they turn into Josh Hamilton, they turn into, you know, the. the but list what is goes he going to be? On. 31 years old next yeah, year. I mean, so he may want one of those kinds. He of might deals. get five years. I mean, I could see someone giving him five or six years and 100, 120 million dollars. The Pirates aren't going to do that. But I think the Pirates should, in this case, look at whatever the market would be, which is between. Probably 18 and 21 million dollars per year. That's what you got to do to pay. Here's, here's an my elite question, player. okay? If they said we're going to give them four year, we're going to rip up next year's option and give a four year deal that starts next year for um, 72 million, 18 a year, would you do that? I would. He wouldn't. I bet you he would not take that. I don't think he would. He, I don't know that the, the, the Pirates would well, even go that high. I think the Pirates will make him an offer, but I don't think it's going to be what he will want, and he will thus turn it down. And I don't even. I don't, think, I, don't, we'll I don't think they would even go that high. You don't think so? I bet you, you know, if you listen to Neil Huntington the last few weeks, he's made a lot of comments that leads me to believe they pretty much know they're going to probably have to trade him. Well, I think that's season. what I believe all you along. Know, I haven't yeah. changed my opinion, but... I think they will come up with some sort of offer. He'll turn it down, and then they'll go on to. How about if he wants a fifth year for ninety million? Would you do that? Um, do you think he would do that? I don't think the Pirates would do that. I don't think the Pirates would do. Yeah, that. they wouldn't get on the hook for that much right. money. Let's go to Jim and Connorsville. Jim, welcome to the Sports Call. How are you tonight? Good. Hey, man. Thanks a lot for taking my call. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. First thing is, uh, wouldn't it be great if this team could get Alvarez back? And two, no. two Nottings Wallet. Alvarez, first of all, is not, you know, they have Josh Bell. Josh Bell will end up in the top five somewhere in the rookie of the year, which is owned by Cody Bellinger right now, the Dodgers, and his 32 or 33 home runs, whatever he has. But Josh Bell has been an outstanding rookie. But what's more encouraging to me so far <clears throat> is what I've seen is rookie pitchers, Trevor Williams, who I think has been really consistent, and I don't know that anyone expected this for the entire season so far, and Chad Cool, even tonight, was good before they took him out. He gave up three runs, but his last eight starts, a 293 ERA. Paul, if they get rookies who take the next step, the Pirates have only used six starters this year. That's the lowest total of any major league team. Yep. So that's pretty good news in that regard. It is. I think the biggest thing with, with Pedro on the bench, well, uh, early in the season, when they had, you know, their bench was in Gope and Hanson and all those guys, Goslin. you know what I mean? All those guys, Goslin. I said, I'd rather have Pedro than that. But right now, you've got Rodriguez, you know, you've got Jaso, you've got Osuna, who's proven to be a pretty good bench guy. Um, you need Stewart, who's your catcher. I mean, I'm trying to think who their other bench player is, but Frazier. Frazier. No, Frazier. you don't need Pedro now. You know, back then, in all, April and May, yeah, you could have used them because their bench was pathetic. Right. But they've actually and, got p professional hitters. Now. I like Jaso as a role player, utility guy yeah. off the bench. He's one of the better guys in that role. But again, when you put him out and start him five out of seven days, you're going to see the problem with that. And he's exposed more. A lot of guys are exposed when they do more than they're, pay they're probably capable of. And I think that's what's good about getting some regulars back. Line two is Jerry and Hempfield. What's up, Jerry and Hempfield? How are hey, you doing? Paul, Paul I, I'm going to give you a little scenario here. The Pirates, uh, they're hanging in there. They're so close, but yet, to me, they seem like they're still far away. Nobody's running away with this division yet. Still. Now, the Pirates have a long road to haul. Uh, with tough teams, if they happen, if they happen to be able to hang on at the end of the season, you know, by three games or two games, and let's just say they lose a division by one game, uh, the Pirate management would you think they think maybe we should get another pitcher? But say they do win the division, it's not a one-game playoff. They're going to go into a series. Would the Pirates 
Should they maybe go out and try to get a really good pitcher and maybe another good bench? Well, you can't just do that right before the playoffs. That's not going to happen. But, you know, I mean, the bottom line is if they lose this opportunity in what I think is a winnable division this year, it goes back to what they did in the offseason this year, the year before that. Very complacent in my view, Paul, and I think because of it they got burned. If they don't win the division, and again – I think the Cubs are going to get to 87 or 88 wins. Which makes Pirates, yeah. what do they got to do? They got to go like 33 and 16 or 32 and 16 now in their last 40. And, and 33 and 16 they in their t- last. They got Washington yeah. four. Right. Who else they got? They I'm got sorry. Good teams they got to go 32. They, in order to get to uh, 88 wins, they got to go 32 and 17 down the stretch. Yeah. That's asking a lot. So um, I think the Cubs will get to 87, 88 wins. And then you'll look back at those first two months. All right. And you'll say, boy, if we just did a little bit more to get our bench better back then, we did a little bit more to get our rotation just a little bit better and our bullpen just a little bit better, we probably would have won one, five, right. six, seven more games and those, we wouldn't be in this and spot. And those games count. You exactly. Know, look at April and May, there were six games under 500, and McCutcheon was off to a horrid start again, too. If he had a better start, yeah. it may have changed things as well. But that's what we talk about here on this show. Doug and Mount Pleasant joins us right now on the Sports Call on the Bordis and Bordis Hotline. Doug, go ahead. Hey, guys. Uh, love the show. Thanks. Uh, you guys do a great job. Love the Buccos. So they're uh, they're trying real hard right now. I love what I'm seeing. Uh, so Sean Sean Rodriguez tonight. Did you happen to see his fourth at bat? Uh, the fourth at bat. No, I, I was walking across the bridge. When, uh, what happened? Yeah. So uh, guy falls to a knee after swinging hard, strike three. Uh, you think that was a Kaepernick move right there? <laughs> no. On that note. We have time here. Yeah, we're going to do one more. We have Barbara on Pittsburgh. What's up, Barbara? How you doing? Good evening. How are First you? First time caller. Thank you. I have a Pittsburgh fan, and I sang the national anthem years ago, many years ago. And I have a silly question. We I'm take them all the time. <laughs> I'm fascinated with the haircuts of all the pirates. They always look groomed. They always look... Have you seen John well. Jaso recently? <laughs> well, okay, there's a two. Okay. John Jaso and... And a couple others, well, Garrett Cole has little curls Mm -hmm. instead of being, you know, and everybody has beards, but everybody is very well groomed. And I pay attention to such things. And I just wondered if there's a staff member that makes sure that everybody is groomed. No. (laughs) No. They all go to their own barbers and everything else. They have their own identities. Yeah. And I don't think Clint Hurdle cares how they look as long as they play and show up and do what they're supposed yeah. to do, correct? Yeah, I think. Is, do they have some roles? Maybe they have some roles. I don't know about certain things. But I don't if think they do, Barbara's actually. Barbara's probably talking about the some Yankees. Some pubhouses yeah, have, do facial, have yeah, facial, yeah, facial, facial hair, hair and rule, stuff like that. I don't think the, the pirates, pirates do, no. No, they don't. Uh, I don't think they do because no. they're guys with facial hair. Maybe there's some other stuff going on, you know. I don't know. Who knows? Never thought about it, actually. We're going to take a break. <laughs> And uh, we'll come back with more of your calls. 412-575-2600 is the number to call back after this.